I shall mom to the elect. Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakah Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and honors and citations to the elect Dachim, doing these works in sincerity and in truth. Alright, and um, in this lesson, I'm going to just get into um how we have to always cleave unto Yahweh Ba'ashem Ashai. Okay? It's very important. All right, to always cleave unto your how about man. All right, and I'm going to start with this. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3. It says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. All right? So whereas, you know, we're living in these last days, okay, the last days of Esau's kingdom, that is, all right, which the scriptures speak upon how he's going to be as a madman, sparing none, okay, of destruction unto them that are on the earth because the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because you know that he hath but a short time. All right. And we're coming into the times that. Matter of fact, let me just get it. I could, I could uh, read it. All right. Better than just uh, trying to butcher it. Right. Daniel's 12 and 1. The times we're coming into. It says, and at that time shall Michael stand up. The great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. Even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Okay. And that's how we know we're talking about America. All right. Because it continues to read. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. All right. So this is going into the last days, man. The last days of Esau's kingdom. And um, this is how it's described, man. It's going to be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. All right. So knowing that these times we're coming into. Okay. We're going to want to remain in perfect peace during these times. So I'm, I'm going to read this again, Isaiah 26 and 3. That will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. You see that? So in this time of trouble that's coming, such as wasn't since there was a nation, and men's hearts are going to be failing them. And if men's heart, hearts are going to be failing them, how is it going to be for the women? Okay. But during these times, we're going to want to Remain in perfect peace. Okay. While the whole world is bugging out. That's how we want to be man. And how do we obtain that? Because it says whose mind is stayed on me. By having your mind stayed upon you. How about Shema Shai. Is how you can. Remain in perfect peace man. So this is something that we want to obtain man. This is something that, that we have to work for. Okay. Because, guess what? That's what it is, man. You actually have to work for your mercy. Right? So this is um, Sirach, chapter 16, verses of 14, which says, Make way for every work of mercy, for every man shall find according to his works. Now, that's bad, man. What's your works? Your YouTube page, man. Your YouTube page bears witness of your works. Not all of them, but a lot of your works, man. A lot of your side shows is your works. So, hey, the more shows you're doing, the scripture says it right here best. For every man shall find according to his works. So your mercy is according to your works. So... Hey, every lesson that you do to uh, edify yourself, to show, to edify the elect, to show your faith, counts towards your mercy. Every time you uh, show up to camp, every time you give alms and tithes and, and do brotherly things, man, you know, go out your way for the brotherhood. 
All right, hey, even showing showing your faith, man. That all goes towards your mercy, man. All right, and so in order to uh uh, uh I right, obtain that that mindset of where you're gonna have perfect peace. You got to do the works. Okay, every time you pray and fast. All right, it, that's going towards you being able to be in perfect peace in that day and even now. All right. So um I got to get us Sirach chapter 2 verse 1 it says my son if thou come to serve the Lord prepare thy soul for temptation. Right. And who's the tempter man? Satan. Okay. The spiritual demon Satan and his physical counterpart Esau, man. But the spiritual demon Satan is going to come and tempt you to try and knock you off from serving your Hawba Shema Shai, man. It's literally his job. All right. The scriptures say he, um, the, Lord, uh, the scriptures say, all right, that the Lord said he creates both good and evil. All right. So verse two. To set thy heart aright. Alright, so we gotta get get our mindset correctly, man. Alright, we gotta set our mind to being ready to serve you. How about Shema Shai? It says, and constantly endure. Right, continuing to endure, man. You know? Continuing to endure in the fight. Right now, in the fight, you may be up against the ropes. You could be up against the ropes sometimes. Right? Satan can have you on the ropes, but guess what? You got to continue to move, man. You know, some brothers catch so much hell, it literally knocks them out the fucking truth, man. Eve give, his Eve giving him so much hell, hey, he's down for the count. He up against the ropes, and he got knocked out, man. Nah. You want to constantly endure, man. Constantly endure. You know, you may be up against the ropes. Hey, the scriptures say, you know, the Lord maketh the way to escape. So, hey, you got to escape up off the ropes. Continue to fight. It says, and make not haste in time of trouble. Okay. Verse 3. Hey, and, and that's a good one, man. You know, that's one to remember during Jacob's trouble. Because everybody's going to make haste. Run down to their nearest uh, um, uh, FEMA camp, man. To receive that RFID chip. So, verse 3. Cleave unto him and depart not away. See? Cleave unto Yahweh Shema Shai, man. Okay? That thou mayest be increased at thy last end. You see that? And that's going back to your works. Every man's work is going to be made manifest at the last end. All right, we're going to be able to cash in our works, so to speak. You know, we would, hey, brother, say, hey, man, it's the real deal, man, when brother say spiritual bank account. All right. Because just as you work on the clock and you uh, you get your check, all right, during, during the pay week, it's supposed to be at the end of the day, you know, you get your pay or whatever because you worked for it. It's the same thing we have about Shema Shai, man. Okay. So, um, no matter what, man. No matter what, we got to continue to serve the Lord. Right? So I'll continue to read on. It says, verse 4, uh, verse four Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. See that? So even when you're in a low estate, you got to continue uh, to serve the Lord, man. You got to continue to be patient. Now, I say, you don't want to be like the fallout boys who, who uh, they're not patient when they're in that lower state. They give up, tap out, and these are not signs of a man of the Lord. Okay, you cannot let Satan play you. You know? The scriptures say, these are they who stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Meaning nothing can shake them. All right, Lunk is shaking by the serving you. How about Shemal Shai, man? Okay.
So, um, matter of fact, I'm gonna get a Ciroc uh, 14 and 2. Right? It says, uh, blessed is he whose conscience hath not condemned him, and who has not fallen from his hope in the Lord. You see? So you never want to uh, have your hope fail in your how about Shema Shai, man. All right? You want to constantly, continually, always do the works, man, and just cleave unto the Lord. You know? And uh, keep and keep it pumping, man. Keep keep the works coming, man. All right? While, while we have time. Hey, like how Shai said, you know, uh, work work while it is day. Okay, because the night cometh when no man can work. And then that's it, man. You know? Because that, then the scriptures say, hey, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. You know, so you, you don't want to be like those guys, man. But hey, thinking back on, on perfect peace, on how Yahweh Bashem is going to give us perfect peace in that day, that, that ties back into Isaiah 4 and 1. On how seven women is going to cleave unto one man. You know, so you may have, you know, brothers out there that, haven't had a girl in a minute, okay? Which I I know what that's like, man. And it's fucking no difference, man. You know. But the thing is, we're gonna get more than we could, as much as we want, man. When all hell breaks loose, man. Not saying we, you know, because you got these wicked ass, you know, nigga nigga women and men who say we waiting on all hell break loose just to get women, man. Look, that's just what the scriptures say. You know, how carnal can you be? Because Paul told us, be as though we even didn't have any wives. You know? But going back to Isaiah 4.1, Isaiah, matter of fact, let me just, you know, get it. I'm, I'm going to wrap it up soon anyway. You know, so let me end it with that. Because this is the, this is the, uh, uh, the mindset all right, or or this is um what's coming to the men who have that mindset to where nothing's gonna move us from serving Yahweh Hashem Shai. This is what's coming to the men who cleave unto Yahweh Hashem Shai, man. Yahweh Hashem Shai has made your favor upon those men. All right, this is how much the Lord is gonna strengthen those men who serve Yahweh Hashem Shai no matter what, man. Even if you down. Even if you're in a low estate. You know, matter of fact, now I got to get another scripture to end, 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 to end it with that. All right. So, um, this is um, Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Okay. And um, matter of fact, to precept that real quick. Isaiah 32 and 2. And a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place and as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. All right. Okay. I mean, we're going to be a safe, a safe haven, man. All right. Not for no fucking male groupies, you know, but for all women that we Hey, and if it be how Bashar Mashar's will, you know, we'll take in. All right, you'll be lucky if you are a family, if you are male, male family, man. All right, and how Bashar Mashar be how Bashar Mashar's will that you can uh hide up under a man of the Lord. You know, but you men are in trouble, man. All right, that ain't with you how Bashar Mashar. But yeah, man, this this is what's coming to the men who have that strong mindset, man. That hey, we serving you how about Shah no matter what. And what is hey, Romans the uh Romans the uh, the eighth chapter, man. What shall separate us? Yeah, I believe that's Romans eight. Khan. Khan, Romans eight and thirty five. Who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach? So who gonna separate us from the love from our from the love of Yahweh why Yahweh Shai and from doing his labor of love, man? Shall tribulation, uh oh, Esau coming down, 
tough guy Edomites or distress, right? The hell you going through or you're in a low estate, you know? Or you thinking what uh, people might think? You know, the scriptures say, hey, whoever's ashamed of me, I'm going to be ashamed of you. Yahweh Shah said that. Or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. Alright? But let me get one more scripture and I'll end it with that, man. You know? Because it's a beautiful mindset to have, man. That you're serving the Lord no matter what, man. Alright? This is our Proverbs. Chapter 24, verse 16. For a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again. You see that? So no matter what, man, we serve you how about Shemash And we try to stay on fire, man. You know? I get upset, man, when I only could do three, three shows a week, man. You know? Just being honest, man. I get upset about that shit, man. But we want to stay on fire, man. Right? The scripture says, For a just man full of seven times and riseth up again. See? You got to rise up again. Can't be down for the count when it comes to how about my shot. It says, But the wicked shall fall into mischief. You see? You see that? So if you fall into mischief, man, you fall off from serving your how about my shot, that means you was wicked. You know? And I got a fucking experience of damn, damn bozo with that, man. Come to find out, you, you wicked, man. Because why you fell into that mischief, man? You ain't get back to serving how about Shemal Shah? Alright? Alright? You know, but with that, man, that's pretty much it, man. I'm going to say shalom.